Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Now this one, I think it's gonna be a pretty short video because I don't like have that much to say, but it's still a video. We're still out here filming. So let's get into it. So today I'm gonna to be talking about the band Blur and how I got into them and my love for them. So you get to you get to see this and we'll also be seeing some videos that I think are like the best videos in the world. Let's get into it. So I first found out about Blur from Twitter. If you didn't know, I have oh, you don't know. I have a Twitter account for Muse. And on that Twitter account, like, people talk about other bands, too. They talk about, obviously, they talk about Radiohead. They talk about Blur and Gorillaz and things like that. But, like, I first heard about, like, um, Gorillaz, and I was like, oh, let's listen to them. And they have, I was like, okay, pretty cool, pretty cool. And then I found out that, well, the lead singer of Blur, like, made Gorillaz, and he's like, the singer who plays like one of the gorillas, but I've always known about Blur, but I never like cared. So I was like shook. I was like, oh my god. So that's where it started. We're getting now we're gonna talk about my love for Damon, of course. So oh my god. If you don't know my love for Damon, then you don't know me. So, the reasons why he is perfect. First of all, he is a beautiful man. Have you seen him? Let's look at some pictures. He's British. And a lot of British bands, you can't tell that they're British. Like, it's like, oh, whatever. They're normal singer people. But this one you can tell. And it's, it's, it's great. First of all, he is relatable. I hate myself and I want to die. Also, he's a good singer. I can't express anymore. Um, now, let me tell you a story about how I became obsessed recently. Like, so I was listening to Blur, like I normally do, and there's this, there's this song called To The End. There's like some echoes of French, just because there is. And I was like, interesting. So I looked up the music video. It's like black and white. It looks like an old time. Maybe not 1920s, but like 19 something. And they looked all great, even Graham. It was just like aesthetically pleasing because like I like 1920s stuff and even 30s and 40s. And that's really great. And also then I found out that Damon sung the whole thing in French. There's a whole cover of it. I cannot play these songs because copyright issues but the, look it up it's great i think his i think his french accent is pretty good and that's when i was like oh my god oh my god and i was telling all um i was putting on snapchat like oh my god i found my wedding song it's a i mean i guess it's a good wedding song the music video is kind of weird like it's like a love triangle between some girl damon and graham but it's still great and then I found the next day, I found this other music video for Coffee and TV. And it's about this. Okay, I'll tell you the whole backstory. Before I say this story, I have to tell it with my favorite accessory on. Hello. Okay, I'm back with my new hat. Um, anyways, so this video was about. So Graham is missing, and it's on. The mil I'm like a milk carton, like this. So I am Graham. And then, like their whole family sad, and then the milk carton comes to life. It's a cute little milk carton. And it starts dancing, and it goes on an adventure to find Graham. Then, um, he goes through all this trouble. Like he almost gets killed multiple times. He has to travel far. Um, he finds this like pink milk that he falls in love with, but then the pink milk gets smashed and it's like she's dead and he's sad about that and 
By the way, the little milk's name is Milky. And also, by the way, I have one. <laughs> so I printed out a little milk. It has everything on it. It has him. Then it has a whole like description of Graham. And then it has um, guitar tabs. I don't know what this is for because most of the song is in like chords. And then it says like coffee and TV under the little um, scan thing. And it has little arms and legs so you can sit it anywhere you want. Okay, back to the story. So then he finally finds the gram. He's playing with the band, like they're playing the song. And he like rolls in like, like this. And then he, and then Graham picks it up and he's like, oh my God, I'm missing. So he goes back home. He doesn't know the trouble that the little milk, Milky, has gone through to find him. So he just like drinks the milk like this and then he squishes it and throws it away. And it's so sad, even though he's reunited with his family again, but it's sad because the little milk guy's dead. And then, if you think it couldn't get any sadder, he rises out of the trash can with a little angel wings and he like, flies to heaven and then there he finds also the pink one his little pink one with the anime eyes i don't know why she has anime eyes but yes that's that's that was like a very sad video i also sent that to like everyone i, I mean not everyone like two people and it was so cool that's like my favorite video from them they have other videos but i can't talk about them now for now, okay, so thank you for watching and listening, um, so catch me next time, comment what you want me to talk about, and yes, goodbye.